So speaking of products, at the drive-in is the was the first band announced for the new Guitar Hero Four. Oh yeah, was it the first band? I think so. Yeah. Are, are you excited about that? Like, um, yeah. There's a there's a part of me that um, you know, we turned it down last time, and I don't. I just think that the world is changing really rapidly, and if this is the way that young people get turned, I mean, I got turned on to records because I went to school and people talked about the, the LP that they had, and it was like the Subhumans or whatever, yeah. and, or the Exploited, and, and so I got that record, and it was great, and there was really great alternative radio stations, like college stations, and it's just, it's the world is changing, and, and I don't think that you can be uh, ignorant of it. And so for me, if it, if it means that a, a kid is going to get guitar, and I think Guitar Hero is fucking rad, that it's people learning, yeah. I mean, they're not learning how to play guitar, but it's definitely sparked interest in yeah. sort of people making music. And I also like sort of how it kind of empowers, I hope that people walk away and think like, oh, I could do this. I could, I could play guitar in a band, yeah. because anybody can, really. Or I mean, anybody has the opportunity to try. Sure. So, yeah, I mean, it's going to be, it's an interesting. And Guitar Hero will also have drums and a... And I'm like, well, really? Do you know that? I didn't know that. So uh, oh, that's great. Yeah. So it's probably good that you waited. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Um, so you talk about being sort of finished with Hollywood, mm -hmm. um, but does that mean Sparta is done? No, Sparta is not. Sparta is not done. No. So what? Uh, what's the current status? Of well, I took a year off to do this. Right. Okay. To do Supercar, Fair. and then at the end of a the year, then we'll sort of get back together and decide what we're going to do. Sure. I don't think the other part of like not having the obligation to do. Uh, to turn in a record in a certain amount of time or else be penalized for it. Yeah. I think it's good. Like, Modest Mouse took five years between Antarctica and, and, and the one after that, right? Yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I don't feel like we need it. I think if you make a record and go on tour, make a record, go on tour, make a record, go on tour, that I've done it for so long that I just lose perspective on, sure. on like, things get really, they just the edges wear off and everything becomes really round and yeah. sort of plain. So I don't want, I don't want that feeling. Totally. Um, do you still have any, is there any animosity towards, in, like, left from at the drive-in at all? Like, no, I mean, I'm 31. They yeah. broke up when I was 24, I think. Yeah. It's been seven years. I don't think there's any, like, yeah, I saw this interview, or somebody was telling me that they were with some guy from one of the 80s sort of hair bands, and somebody was asking him, like, why don't you guys get back together? And, and he was saying, why don't you go and find, like, the four dudes you went to high school with? And, and hang out with them and yeah. see how much you have in common. Yeah. And to me, it's not that I think any less of anybody in that band or anybody I went to school with or whatever, yeah. but, you know, it's a long time to play. And I think there's special, there's bands that, that can do that forever, but I don't think that that band was made to be massive. Sure. And I think it was coming. And I think it's, you know, it stopped at the right time and it's, I mean, it's hard. That shit's hard. It's heavy. And it hurts your heart sometimes, and yeah. you know friendships were were bruised. I don't think anybody is nobody hates each other. Right. Everybody is is cool, you know. But also, I don't want to make a, a point of of sort of. I mean, I wouldn't want to fake it. There's no reason to reunite. Yeah. A, a, other than to make money, I would assume, unless everybody felt like they wanted to play music again together, yeah. and then I don't see why it would have to have the same name even. So right. it's one of those things. Like I, I would be, I would feel. I don't think I would ever be able to go back and play those songs. Right. Because they were written by the 21-year-old version of me. And that was 10 years ago. It was 22 or 23 or whatever, you know? And I don't think that... I don't really want to go back and put on those clothes and from that part of my yeah. life and, and walk around town. I think I'd feel a little silly. Right. You know? So if you got back together with those guys and made a new band, what would you call it? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I couldn't even imagine... Um, you know, I, I could definitely imagine making music together. Yeah. Um, with everybody I've ever played with. There's nobody sure. in the world that I've played with that I wouldn't go back and make music with. Because to me, it's sort of above the other stuff that this lifestyle brings. Yeah, for sure. Um, but the stuff that this lifestyle brings, it's hard to not. Uh, it's hard for that to not affect everything else. So, sure. but yeah, there's no. I mean, I don't think there's any animosity. I certainly don't have any. Um, you know, I wish everybody well, and I just know, for me personally, it's hard enough to sort of um, make, it's hard enough to like do all this stuff, live this way, yeah. which is fun, it's good, and it's great, and I feel blessed by it, but at the same time, it, it's heavy, and it comes with like a lot of prices, yeah. you know, 
So I wouldn't wish anything on anybody that they're not already struggling with. You know what I mean? I wouldn't wish them that, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I know what I'm saying. Yeah. I think that life is hard enough and there's way, and I've always said this since the band broke up, there's way more important things in the world to worry about than whether or not we'll ever play together or if people hate each other. Not, not to diss a question, but right. the world's a pretty crazy place. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah. Um, from that, if you could see like one of your favorite bands reunite, what, what band would you want to see? I just had this really long, intense, probably slight, slightly drunken conversation in Australia with a bunch yeah. of other guys from bands. And we were on a festival. And we were all backstage after the show just like drinking and hanging out. And I was surprised at how upset I got by this. But I was really, really adamantly upset that bands get back together later on. Because it really bums me out. Oh, really? Yeah. And I saw, I played right before the Pixies at Coachella. I mean, Sparta, it was Sparta Pixies Radiohead. Yeah. And yeah. I stood there and I watched it. And nothing against them. I can't tell other people what to do. But as a fan, as like, you know, Surfer Rosa and Doolittle were some of the first things I ever learned how to play on an instrument. Yeah. Copying, listening to the stereo and rewinding and rewinding and rewinding. To sit there and watch it, I was, I was deeply disappointed by... I thought I was going to be really stoked. Right. And I was disappointed by my own reaction. Right. And I think I would be hard... It would be hard for me to want to see anybody reunite. I mean, I definitely like imagine going back in time and seeing yeah. bands, so maybe in that case... Yeah. I mean, I would have loved to have seen um, Minor Threat in DC. You know, I would yeah. have loved to have seen you know Led Zeppelin at their height. You know, I would yeah. have loved to have seen the last Police show. Totally before they before yeah. Uh, yeah. But I just don't, and nothing against them. I mean, fine. I just don't choose to. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I know somebody. I can't remember who it was. Somebody was saying the, the whole reason it came up is somebody asked somebody like, "Oh, did you go see the the Zeppelin reunion show or whatever, or did you get tickets or something?" Yeah. And they're like, "Fuck no, I don't want to go." And it just made me. I just don't. I don't think it'd be. I don't know. I don't think it'd be. I don't think it's my close thing. to the same. No, it's never gonna be close to the same. No. But then I can't. I mean, even you know, the work got back together, and it hasn't been that long. Yeah. Yeah. And I kind of thought for a minute, like, well, that'd be kind of cool. But I think it's because I, I liked them, but I didn't. I mean, they weren't like a, a passion of mine. So maybe that's the thing. Is I guess I don't want to change the memories. Is that's sure. what it comes down to. Yeah. yeah. Which is really what it. For me, that's what it's about. Is altering sort of the memories of all that stuff. Totally. Um, so, I'm interviewing Mars Volta tomorrow, mm -hmm. and uh, do you have any, any funny stories about them that I could bring up? Um, no. I don't know if, I don't know if cross interviewing funny story time will go over well. No, I don't think In, our, current, in our current world. No, all right, fair enough. But do, I mean, you know, obviously send my love. Indeed, indeed I will. Um, <clears throat> There's two questions that punktv.ca always asks, uh -huh. and the first one is, have you had any of the following experiences? Okay. Have you seen a ghost, seen a UFO, or seen the face of God? Um, I, ha I don't think I've ever seen a ghost. Um, I definitely have never seen a UFO. Um, and when I was a kid, I felt sort of the most intense presence of a higher power that I've ever felt in my life. Um, and I don't know if I ever really sorted out what it was, but it was... Uh, I wouldn't say it was. A, I mean, it was a life altering in a way. I mean, it was the first. It was my first cognitive thought that there's something bigger and more powerful in the world. I was 12, yeah. you know, and I think it's just sort of your your spirit and your soul kind of finding finding its feet. You know what I mean? Sure. And it was, and it, it was just one of those perfect things where it was like there was a mist in a valley, and I was walking with these people that I that I loved and I cared about, and we all felt this just tremendous like like incredible love, like overpowering, and it wasn't just me, there was multiple people who felt the same thing, and it, it was just the right place at the right time for sort of uh, tapping into to sort of the, the higher power, and I, I, I don't know what it is, I'm not like a denominational religious person by any means, yeah. so, yeah. Um, but yeah, that was, I think. Yeah. And the last question is, what would your fans be most surprised to learn about sleeper car? idea. I don't know what surprises people anymore, <laughs> to be honest with you. Yeah, I don't know. That's one of those questions. I mean, I've definitely had questions like that in my life. And yeah. I, can, I can never think of a really great one. I wish there was something good. There's not. That's all right. I'm sorry. No worries. Terrible. No worries. That's all right. That's it, man. Thanks. I appreciate man. it. Yeah. Rock. Watch punktv.ca for all the best modern rock videos and interviews.